you all might have noticed some changes in your body since you have entered your teenage years some of you might notice a sudden increase in your height or maybe changes in your body shape do you ever think why does this happen why are these changes happening in your body and how do you define these changes if you have any of these questions in your mind then you are watching just the right video with all your answers so hello everyone welcome to our channel agla same schools i am ashwarya and i am back with another chapter of science that is chapter number 10 reaching the age adolescence this chapter discusses changes that takes place in the human body after which a person becomes capable of reproduction also you will understand the role that hormones play in bringing about changes that makes a child grow into an adult so without wasting much time let us start with our exercise and try to give appropriate solutions for the same so starting with question number 1 which says what is the term used for chemical secretions of endocrine glands responsible for changes taking place in the body answer to this question would be the term used for chemical secretions of endocrine glands responsible for changes taking place in the body is called hormones question number 2 define adolescence answer the period of life when the body undergoes changes leading to reproductive maturity is called adolescence it begins around the age of 11 and last up to 18 or 19 years of age question number 3 what is menstruation explain answer the process when egg is not fertilized the released egg and the thickened lining of the uterus along with its blood vessels are shed off this causes bleeding in women which is called menstruation menstruation occurs once in about 28 to 30 days question number 4 list the changes in the body that takes place at puberty so following are the changes that takes place in body during puberty number 1 sudden increase in height number 2 change in body shape number 3 voice change number 4 development of sex organs and number 5 reaching mental intellectual and emotional maturity lastly increased activity of sweat and sebaceous glands question number 5 prepare a table having two columns depicting names of endocrine glands and hormones secreted by them so the table starts with number 1 testis testis secretes testosterone second ovary ovary secretes estrogen third thyroid thyroid secretes thyroxin fourth adrenal it secretes adrenaline fifth pancreas it secretes insulin and number 6 pituitary it secretes growth hormone question number 6 what are sex hormones why are they named so state their function answer the changes which occur at adolescence are controlled by hormones hormones produced by sex organs are called sex hormones they are responsible for growth and development of secondary sexual characters the testes and ovaries are reproductive organs stimulated by the pituitary hormone now the functions of sex hormones are sex hormones makes ova mature in the ovaries and sperms form in the testes stimulates changes in the body at onset of puberty question number 7 choose the correct option part number a adolescents should be careful about what they eat because number first proper diet develops their brains part second proper diet is needed for the rapid growth taking place in their body third adolescents feel hungry all the time fourth taste buds are well developed in teenagers correct answer is part number second proper diet is needed for the rapid growth taking place in their body b reproductive age in women starts when their part number first menstruation starts second breast start developing third body weight increases fourth height increases correct answer to this part is part number first 
menstruation starts c the right meal for adolescents consists of part number first chips noodles cokes second chapati dal vegetables third rice noodles and burgers and fourth vegetable cutlets chips and lemon drink correct answer is part number second chapati dal and vegetables now moving on to question number 8 write notes on number first adam's apple so at puberty the voice box or the larynx begins to grow boys develop larger voice boxes the growing voice box in boys can be seen as a protruding part of the throat called adam's apple this often causes change in the voice of boys part number b secondary sexual characters testes and ovaries are the reproductive organs they produce the gametes that is sperms and ova in girls breasts begin to develop at puberty and boys begin to grow facial hair that is mustaches and beard as these features help to distinguish the male from the female they are called secondary sexual characters part number c sex determination in the unborn baby inside the fertilized egg or zygote is the instruction for determining the sex of the baby this instruction is present in the thread like structures called chromosomes in the fertilized egg all human beings have 23 pairs of chromosome in their nuclei of their cells two chromosomes out of these are the sex chromosomes named x and y when a sperm containing x chromosome fertilizes the egg the zygote would have two x chromosomes and develop into a female child and if the sperm contributes a y chromosome to the egg ovum at fertilization the zygote would develop into a male child x chromosomes while male has one x and one y chromosome question number 10 The table on the screen shows the data on likely heights of boys and girls as they grow in age. Draw graphs showing height and age for both boys and girls on the same graph paper. What conclusions can be drawn from these graphs? Now, as you see the graphs on the screen, conclusion to the data in graphs are part number 1, girls are taller than boys until they reach the age of 12 years. Second, till the age of 16, height of both boys and girls remain the same and thirdly after the age of 16 both boys and girls start to grow in height however in general boys are taller than girls so guys this was all for this video hope you like the video and if you did then don't forget to like and share this video with your friends if you still have any doubt regarding this chapter then feel free to ask us in our comment sections below And yes do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more NCERT videos of other subjects too see you soon bye bye